The Undertaker was born as Mark William Calloway on March 24, 1965 in Houston, Texas, to the parents of Frank and Betty, with four older brothers. Undertaker attended Waltrip High School in Houston and graduated in 1983. Texas Red was The Undertaker's first official gimmick, a character with a mask that he primarily used in world-class championship wrestling. Undertaker as Texas Red debuted in 1984 at just 19 years old. In 1985, a year after starting his wrestling career, The Undertaker played as a center for the Texas Wesleyan Rams college basketball team and was so successful that he almost played pro basketball, but he decided to focus on pro wrestling instead. The Undertaker would occasionally wrestle as the Commando from time to time when he was not wrestling for world class as Texas Red. On February 2nd, 1989, managed by Dutch Mantel, The Undertaker debuted in the USWA as the Master of Pain, who was supposed to be an ex-convict. On April 1st, 1989, the Master of Pain became the undisputed USWA Unified World Champion after defeating Jerry the King Lawler. This was The Undertaker's first championship. The Undertaker used the name The Punisher while wrestling for a few different Southern US promotions, including USWA in the late 1980s. As The Punisher, he won the WCWA Texas Heavyweight Championship from Eric Embry, but lost it to Kerry Von Erich only two weeks later. In 1989, The Undertaker joined WCW and used the name Mean Mark Callis and was managed by Paul E. Dangerously, a.k.a. Paul Heyman. Mean Mark would have several big matches, including a U.S. title match against Lex Luger at the 1990 Great American Bash. The Undertaker never held any championship belts, though, in WCW. While in WCW, The Undertaker tagged with Dan Spivey, also known as Waylon Mercy in the WWE. They were known as the Skyscrapers with their manager, Teddy Long. The Skyscrapers existed before The Undertaker joined. It wasn't until the original member of the team, Sid Vicious, was injured, and The Undertaker was brought in to take Sid's place and tag with Dan Spivey. During The Undertaker's time in WCW, he wrestled in Japan on a tour for New Japan Pro Wrestling as Dice Morgan in March 1990, where he teamed with the likes of Scott Hall and Bam Bam Bigelow. The Undertaker might have always played mean, scary characters throughout his career, but behind the scenes he has always been known to be very approachable and loves his fans. This wasn't any different in the 1980s, before The Undertaker hit it big with the WWE. 